All right, it's finally time to do a uh, top end video, so let's get started on it, shall we? Um, this video, I'm just going to show you how to install the top end, um, how to put the uh, pistons on the rods, how to put the cylinders on, and tighten the cylinders up, and we're going to stop there. And then I'm going to do a separate video on the cool head installation and all that. And then I'll do another separate video on how to check your squish and all that stuff, because if I do all three in one video, it's going to be a super long video. So. We're going to get started. First thing we're going to do is, all right, we've got everything here laid out, clean, everything's ready to go. So the first thing we're going to, we're going to do is go ahead and put our, um, put uh, one of our C-clips and our pistons. We're going to do one on each side. Okay, so I have the pistons arranged on the bench the way they're going to go in the engine if you're standing behind it. So your left one, this will be the right one windows facing the back towards the intake or carburetors arrows facing forward and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put in the inside C clips first the reason is because that way you don't have to worry about trying to um, work around this piston while you're putting in this clip or vice versa you can do all your work on the outsides of the pistons so I'm gonna put these in first alright here we go it's probably gonna be a little awkward for me um, have the camera right in front of me so this is the way that I do it and it works easiest for me. When you put the C-clip in, see how you have the end right here? You don't want to have the end fall in this little gap right here because then it's going to be a nightmare to get them out of there. You want any part of the wire here to fall across that, that gap like that. So the way I put them in, it seems to be easiest for me is I'll just do it like so. Let's see if, Can y'all see here? Okay, I'm just going to put it in and then I'll show y'all. Okay, don't hope it doesn't fly out on me. <clears throat> so what I do is just kind of wedge it in just like that and then you have to you have to be ready for it to come out because it will and then just kind of twist it sideways and I use your fingernail <coughs> and push it right in there it goes all right now we're going to take a little bitty flathead here Pull this side out just a little bit. There we go. Okay, that one's locked in place. And you can see there how it goes across this gap here. So now if we needed to take this out, all we'd have to do is get a small pick in behind here or a screwdriver and pry it right out. So that we have one done. Now I'm going to do the other and then I'll be back. All right, so now we got both uh, C-clips in. Now I have the rings on this piston ready as y'all saw a while ago. I'm going to show you how to do the rings the easiest way. Um, these little funny shape here on the rings, that's what hangs on these uh, locator pins right here or keeper pins. Everybody calls them something different. The way that I do it is I'll take this gap here and I will, I don't know if y'all can see. Okay, here's the lower pin. I'll put it just to the left of it like this. Let's see if I can like that and then I'll just roll it right on like so and as it comes across here well I don't know if y'all saw that let me get a wider shot so what I'll do is take this gap here start it to the left of the keeper pin right there like this and then just roll it right on kinda catch it with your nail don't let it, don't, don't let it drag the piston and then It'll pop right in. That's one. And we'll do our other. There. So now we have our uh, we have our inside C clips in and our piston rings are on. Now we can go ahead and put our pistons on the rods. So let me set up for that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so for the assembly oil, I'm using a um, Caster 927. That's the oil that uh, the guy's going to run in the engine. That's the oil that I run. This is what it is right here, in case you haven't seen it before. And uh, what I do is just put it in a squirt bottle, like so. Any kind of bottle will work. This just happens to be one from the Cup Beauty Salon for hair perm. Works great though. And uh, so here we go. And uh, before you start, pack some clean towels down in your engine here, because if you drop one of these C clips and it gets down there, runs away on, runs away from you, you may have a little bit of a hard time fishing it out if it gets in a good hiding spot under the crank or something like that. So, 
goes without saying, keep your hands and all the parts clean at all times. Keep clean uh, rags handy. And then just start with a little bit, little bit of assembly lube on the wrist pin bearing. Doesn't take a whole lot. And stick it on the rod. Just like so. Alright, then we're going to take our first piston here. Alright, then we can take our piston, wrist pin, put a little bit of oil on the wrist pin. I mean, you don't need to slather it on there because only so much fits in between the wrist pin and the piston. So, you're going to go ahead and start your wrist pin in on the opposite end that you put the C-clip in. Like so. You don't want to push it all the way through because you have to leave room to get it on the rod bearing. So we have it in. Intake ports go to the back, arrow towards the front, and let's see. And then just set it over your, over your rod bearing, wrist pin bearing rather, and then push the rod, push the uh, wrist pin through, just like so, and that's one. All right. And we'll go ahead and do the other, and then we'll do both outer clips. All right, now we can do our other. So a little bit of oil on the bearing, a little bit on the wrist pin. Come back over to our engine. Wrist pin bearing in. And then again, start the wrist pin and the piston in the opposite side of where you put the C-clip in. Intake windows to the back, I hope you can see. And then put it right over the wrist pin bearing. Look through the windows and then push your wrist pin in just like that. That's all there is to it. Now we're gonna put in our C-clips. You guys are in a pretty good position there. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one here. This, this uh, this clip here is a little bit more difficult because you can't push the uh, clip in sideways as far because of the wrist pin, obviously. But I still do it the same way. It's just not quite as easy. I'm going to move you guys around here a little bit. Okay, I may get in your way here, but uh, I'll show you what I got going on here. So we put it in just like so. Now you can see it's already pretty much all the way in. Just take a small flat head and hook the other edge of it. Jumping out on me. And there we go. That one's in. Some guys can do it with their fingers. Uh, I haven't really figured out how they do that. Uh, I've done the four stroke ones, but for some reason these clips are a lot, seem a lot stouter than the ones on the four strokes. So, so this one's good to go. Yep, it's good to go. So now we can go ahead and flip the engine around and do the other side. All right, got it turned around. I'm gonna pull the rag out of this side. Gonna kind of put it around this piston here so it doesn't flop around on anything. So I need to turn it a little bit to get a little more room here to work. And when you do this, just be careful with everything so you don't bugger anything up. Take a new rag, put it down around that rod. Be sure that whole crankcase is blocked off there from any 
anyway that clip might find its way down there. So then we're going to start with this clip here. Let's see. Okay, that clip is in. We're good to go. Now the fun part, putting the cylinders on. Alright, so now when we put our cylinders on, um, everybody has their own way. Uh, I don't use any, any gasket sealant on my uh, base gasket. I've never had any trouble with any air leaks down there. Of course, I do leak test before I start every engine up. But um, I've always put it on dry that way in the future, which is hopefully year, years down the road before you have to pull your top in, not right away. Anyway, in the future, you won't have to worry with a big mess here. You won't have crap falling in your engine, engine when you try to clean it up of all the Yamaha and stuff like that. So I'll put them on dry. So pistons are good and clean. Everything's clean. Cylinders are ready. So, okay, so when you put your uh, cylinders on, the only thing you need to do is you got locator pins on your on your piston here. See this little pin right here? Let's see. When you compress your rings, you need to be sure that the ends meet up where those look where those little pins are. Like if you're gonna do this one, you would have to meet up there. The, tri the tricky thing is you have to do both at one time because one's here and the second ring pin is over here. So that's all you need to do. And uh, unless your bore is really really sloppy, the cylinder is not even going to go on. And if it does go on, it's going to be bound up really really tight. You'll definitely know if you don't have something right. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and put a put a cylinder on. And uh, uh, assembly of oil. What do I do? How do I do it? How much do I use? No matter what I say, nobody's going to agree with me. Everybody's going to say they use something different. And that's fine. I'm not here to tell you what to use to assemble it with. You can do all the research you want and decide what you want to use. I myself, I don't use a lot of oil putting them together. I never have and I've never had any trouble over the long time that I've been doing ATV engines and even automotive engines. I just, I, I've never used a lot of oil. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. All I do is get a little bit of finger, a little bit of oil on my finger, and just moisten the skirts. Not enough it runs off. Nothing like that. Just enough that you can you see it on there, you know it's there. I don't do anything with the rings. I put them on just like that. Cylinders. What I do with the cylinder is I do it like this. I'll turn it upside down. Can you see there? Yeah, you see there. Put a little bit of oil on my finger. And I'll wipe just about as far as I can. As far as I can reach. All the way around. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing running down. There's nothing in the ports. There's I mean there's no big accumulation. There's just a film on there. I'm gonna show you. That's it. So with that, we'll set it on. Alright, here we go. So remember, when you squeeze your rings, be sure that the, uh, the end of the ring gaps come together where the pins are. Just get them together good and tight. And be double, double sure they're in the right spot. And then grab your cylinder. Put it over. Work it on down into place. Just like that. There's one of them. Go ahead and put a base nut on it here. Okay, so there we go. Got one in. Nice and smooth. Everything looks good. Alright, now we'll do the left cylinder. Get everything lined up where it needs to be. Put 
You'll also feel it too when the ring's not where it needs to be. It won't it won't go in the groove because it's resting over that pin. Push it on down and go ahead and put you one of the nuts on it to hold it down. And then you can give it a little spin and see how it feels. I'll put one there and I'll put one over here. Alright, the cylinders are snug now, and we'll give it a spin and we'll see how she does. So that's it, they're all in, rolled good and smooth, everything looks good. Um, torque on the cylinder nuts is 20 foot pounds, torque on the head nuts are uh, 20 foot pounds, 22 foot pounds, I'm sorry. So um, I'm going to do a cool head installation video next. I'm going to do uh, everything from putting the studs in to torquing the head down and everything. And then I'm also going to do a uh, video on how to check your, your squish. So, anyway, like I said, not a whole lot to it. Um, torquing these down, if you if you don't have the torque adjuster to you know to use on your torque wrench, just get them good and tight with a with a wrench, and that's fine. I've honestly never torqued them myself. The only thing, the only thing that I do torque religiously is the case bolts uh, and the uh, the head the head bolts. Um, it's the only thing I've ever torqued on them. And I've uh, never had any trouble. Just get them good and tight and be sure everything's clean, you know, and uh, you won't have any trouble out of it. Y'all take care. God bless.